There are many standards and rules that make up generally accepted accounting principles. Today, I want to introduce three of them. The business entity concept, the accounting period, and a going concern. Now imagine for a moment that Jill is the only owner of a business. Since there are no other owners, Jill doesn't see a need to keep track of her business income and expenses separately from her personal ones. So she records her groceries in the same reports as her tools and supplies. But do you think that's a good idea? Even though there are no other owners to report to, remember that Jill has other stakeholders that she has to report to. GAAP and financial accounting are really for the external stakeholders like Jill's bank that gave her the loan. If Jill recorded all of her personal income and expenses mixed in with her business ones, it would be difficult for the bank to know how much money the business really earns and if it can successfully pay the loan back. So Jill needs to separate her business financial records from her personal ones. This is known as the business entity concept. Business entity is a concept where a business is established as a separate existence for the purpose of taxes, and all financial records for that business are kept separately. Now, let's imagine that Jill is preparing her financial information to give to her bank. But instead of printing reports each month like other businesses do, she decides to print her reports based on completion of sales goals. So let's say that her first report covers 38 days, her next one only 17 days, and her third report just 25 days. When the bank receives her reports, it will be difficult for them to compare her reports to other businesses that report each month since they don't represent the same length of time. It also makes it hard to compare one month to the next within Jill's own company to know which months were her best and most profitable ones. This is why GAAP principles require all businesses to report their financial information in regular and consistent intervals. This is known as the accounting period concept. Those intervals could be months, quarters, or years, but they need to always be consistent and clearly labeled so readers know the length of time that the financial re reports represent. Lastly, let's imagine for a minute that Jill knew her biggest customer was going bankrupt and Jill was pretty sure that her business was going to have to close at the end of the year. Just before she closed her business though, she applied to the bank for a loan. Would this be ethical? If Jill hid the truth about closing her business from the bank, the bank would look at how successful her business was right now and assume it would continue and give her a loan that Jill knew she could never pay back. That wouldn't be fair to the bank. In order for the bank to honestly compare Jill's business with other businesses and decide whether to grant her the loan, the bank needs to be able to assume that the business will stay open unless they are otherwise told. This is known as a going concern. It's kind of a funny name. It doesn't mean that there is a concern about the business. A going concern means that a business is always assumed to continue into the foreseeable future unless otherwise stated in their financial reports. If a business owner thinks that their business might need to close, they're required by the going concern principle to mention it in writing as part of their financial statements. The business entity concept, the accounting period, and the principle of a going concern are all important parts of generally accepted accounting principles, or GAAP, that help outside investors compare businesses and make better business decisions. For more information about GAAP standards and other accounting topics, check out more of my videos on YouTube or visit ToriNorman.com.